Hi everyone, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally. Today I'm just going to walk you through WaveApps accounting application and they can be found at WaveApps. They offer a few different things um, on their site and a lot of it's for free. And so what I'm going to take you through is the free accounting application. And uh, I have that open in another tab, so I'm just going to click here. I've already signed in to my account on this. So basically what it is, it's uh, a way for you to keep track of your accounts, your receipts, your expenses, your invoices, you can track reports, uh, and various other things. And so if you have a, a new nonprofit or a nonprofit that's been around for uh, maybe just a few years and you don't have QuickBooks yet, um, which could be for some of for some of us, that's a pretty heavy investment. This is a, a great option. So I'm going to run you through it. Um, right now we're at the dashboard. We're going to move right on down to transactions. This isn't really a tutorial. This is more a way for you to look at what the back end looks like without having to sign up for your own account. Um, and you can see what it does. So back here, you can add a, a add an expense or add some income to your account. So I'm going to add a quick income here. I'm just going to go to here, click Add Income. And down here pops open a little area. I can click the date. Uh, I'm going to, I did just get a, uh, a donation. So I'm going to call this uh, online, online donation. And it was $200. Oops, that's 20. And that's in the category. Um, when you sign up for an account with, with Wave Apps, they're going to ask you what type of business you have. And one of the choices is nonprofit. So if you pick nonprofit, it's going to automatically set up specific accounts that are related to nonprofits, some of them being uh, public support like you see here. And the one I had was a direct public support individual. And then I'm going to leave it at cash in hand. And then I can verify it here. And once you verify it, it disappears. But it didn't disappear. It's just under this drop down here, you can look at your verified expenses or incomes, and you can look at the ones that have not been verified. Kind of like when you reconcile your books, um, you could use the verify as a way of reconciling income or expenses that you have. All right, so we're going to go on down. I'm just going to take you quickly through these so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It's a very easy to use program. Um, so here you would add any invoices. You just click create an invoice. And in the setup area, you can have your address or your logo set up to print on this invoice. But uh, you set up your invoice, you pick your customer, which you could add here, or you could add somewhere else. You can add a customer there. Scroll down, add the description, the amount, and then you can save it um, and email it or print it to your customer. And then same with bills. It's a very similar looking way of tracking. You can create a bill. And from there, you can choose the bill and add it to your accounts. Receipts. The interesting thing here is most of us have hard copies of our receipts. Here you can actually scan them and then upload them and then you have a digital copy. So we're going to move right into accounting. So here in the account section you'll see that there's already some pre-installed accounts set up and you these get set up when you select the type of business that you're running. So being a nonprofit it's set up nonprofit categories in the income. You see that there's places for donations, in-kind gifts. There's program and income and service income. And under expenses here, you'll see there's the basic internet services, insurance, legal fees, postage, rental. You can also add, if we scroll up to the top, you can see you can add additional accounts so if you have a specific fundraiser or grant you're trying to track you can add that also and then you have uh, some reports that you can print out and you can ch pick uh, your balances or your transactions or vendor reports and then this bottom tab is for payroll and you click on that and you go into a payroll section payroll is a paid feature of WaveApps. And that's pretty typical across the accounting industry because payroll is dependent on state and federal taxes and, and how it's set up. And so if it changes, then you need to subscribe to a payroll service so that your payroll changes also. Anyways, that's a quick overview of WaveApps. And you can look at it online at waveapps.com. Again, the accounts are free, so you got nothing to lose to try it out and have a, have a test drive yourself.
This is Steve from Nonprofit Ally wishing you a good day. Thanks for watching.